All right, so another video of Fusic Station 10 coding. So this is just about coding. And I uh, already got the... What I got working, I was working this morning. And the scrolling of the background is already working. So we have one image that gets repeated. So I'm just moving the mouse wheel here. Oh, now you can see. So just moving the mouse wheel, like um, looking at layer three, layer four, and so on. So it just screws, screw down and up the background. Um, this background has a lot of lot going on, but we're going to have now the the top stuff that goes on the, on the top, <laughs> of course. And um, oh, you see where I'm calculating the interface. Uh, here, here. Okay, like here, I. I I calculate the interface. So now, what I have to do? I need to check two things. If I need to check if it needs to repaint and if it is visible in the in the current uh, screw area, because maybe you are screwing down to layer two, and it's asking to repaint layer one, and don't need to repaint that one. So we we'll have to check that. So the way I'm going to do this. I want to check if it needs to, re to repaint, then I have to check all the elements in that particular layer, if they are visible or not. So let me see if I have an overall layer size and position. I have the layer height. Height. How high can it be? Height. Okay. Need to pronounce that better. So we have the layer height and the. Uh, oh, that's the, the total layer height. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have to put that on the layer browsing when you're scrolling. So if it's smaller than zero, it's zero. So it never goes to the negative value. And if layer position is higher than the total layer height, but uh, it's not just the layer height, um, because you have to check the size of the, of the layer. Here, this is the layer size to try to try to wrap the idea. To, uh, it's, it's higher than the layer height minus the position. Be. I think that's correct. I have to double check that, but it should be okay. I'm going to check that in, in a minute. Actually, several minutes. Okay, take some water. Uh, 
Um, okay, each layer I have the the height of the layer, so I have to check during drawing if we are the area of the. Great to know on here. Oh, I have my layer screw positioning. So if the layer screw positioning is lower and equal in the positioning, but Ooh, it's not going to be like that, so it's going to be like this. And um, it's higher than position Y. And it's to draw. Why is it continue to check the other layers? Because this is going to happen very fast. So we check if the layer is actually visible or not. And I'm not going to set repaint to false because next time uh, I do something and it, it goes to a visible area, it has to be repainted. So it's just going to repaint. That should work. So now, what I could do so the back layer we already have drawn there. Time we change the positioning. What I'm thinking now thinking is that the the top overlays the the labels and everything else needs to go with the background uh, I'm going to have to change that. So I'm, I'm creating the background, I'm drawing the background. I should be doing this in here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is draw the buttons, knobs, and the text stuff. Draw layer background. I'm going to create another here to draw all the labels. Because then I'm going to have in these layers background 
uh, decal and sprite. I'm going to have all the background that is required for the buttons and knobs to, to render. So it doesn't have to render the whole interface, just a small area of everything, of uh, anything that's being drawn. So that's, that makes much more sense. Oh no, okay, I have to check if the layer is in the visible area. Try again. it could be layer one and two, be layer two and three, just layer one. It's either one layer or two layers because uh, the space there actually doesn't fit two layers, but um, let's say uh, you change the, some of the graphics on the skin interface, it has to accommodate for that. So let's leave to work with any number of layers being shown on the screen. Let's see. Choose if the layer screw positioning is less. Yeah, that's correct. Good. Higher than the positioning. So the first thing we need to draw is the top and now now I could just go and draw all this all the stuff that the the layer needs. But um, going to be drawing uh, away from the, the visible area. What we want a bit thing to do, but If I'm not mistaken, oh, of course, there's always going to be one or two layers visible, so I can't get away from that. But um, now I need to create, create a new sprite that's the size of one of one layer. In this case, this particular one, which is being shown. And um, oh, what's the width again? The background position width. And the height is the layer's height. Okay, my layer sprite here should be empty. And I'm going to draw everything that, that needs to be drawn. So I can do oh, sprite. Sprite is going to be the, the zero point. Sprite I want is the top. top. Oh. 
to layer all has all the sprites in there, so it's going to be spiritual sprite. Never mind. Spiritual sprite. This sprite. Positioning the sprite. Uh, or the source positioning. Zero and the, the positioning in the Y value, which I should have in here. Layer overlay. Stop. X. That's going to give me the positioning in the Y value. And now I need a size. Size is going to be guy here. This guy has the size on the height. This should draw the top layer. And this is not a problem because this is going to be happening only when it's screwed up and down and it's going to be very fast. And um, if it gets too crazy, they're going to do it in another way, but it should be okay. Now I just draw. Virtual sprite again. <laughs> Using VF2D. That's not a problem, it's just floating point versus integer. Works just the same. So, zero. Oh, I forgot something. Don't draw this in here. I draw in here position is sprite the source of the position the sprite for now I'm going to leave it zero but I have to calculate where in the screw area is going to be and the size is going to also, I have to check the size of the, of the whole things. So for testing, I want to do like this. Something. Scale. What is complaining about? Because it was a pointer. Okay. Something. Hmm. 
I uh, forgot to set my draw target to the layer sprite. Then back, background sprite. Drawing to the draw partial sprite, then back to the background sprite. It's a bit messy, but uh, not a problem. Oh, why it's not showing anymore there. Well, just one time then shows the background weird hmm. Just in case I'm going to set the pixel to alpha every time. That's the problem. Is flashing correctly then? Wraps out. <laughs> the background is black. Oh. Nice. Oh, maybe I'm not going to, to draw to a buffered sprite. I don't know what's what's giving me this, but um, Think something. I'm going to try something different. <laughs> going to be a way more math. Oh, I have two layers. I should be doing this on the two layers. So if x variance zero. Because index zero is going to be the bottom master stuff. But it's still not drawing the bloody thing and it's not moving anymore in my background. Maybe this is wrong. I'll have to recalculate a lot of stuff because because uh, I need to know when to stop the scrolling.
Because this way I'm just going, going on and on and on and on. So anyway. Not getting the screw area. Let me think, let me think. Uh, see what's the height of the Actual layer. Okay, that's weird. But it should have layer zero in layer one. Why it's not showing? I hate when this happen. Try again. Layer zero. My layer one. I know the problem because this variable is for the station 10 which I created just for layer 1 and above I don't create for layer 0 actually dude that's kind of okay that You want to check what's the size of the hive? It should be 2400 something. Eight seven one is not correct. I have to check why it's giving me eight seven one, but it's kind of okay. Not perfect. We draw this air, this whole area here are not going to be using. I'm going to put this on the background. one and the last thing I'm going to do is to draw another decal of the overlay get the cache image overlay for the layers that's the last thing I'm going to draw Overlay. Do I need to specify anything? No. I think the size and the position should be okay already. But you have to check why the height of the layer is not correct. Check them here.
Only him. Overlay. Be correct. Come on. What gives? Overlay, overlay, layer. Huh. Let's take a, a look at the file. It was working yesterday, so I uh, don't. No. Overlay layer, that's the one. Oh, it's not the one. Think about the overlay, not the layer overlay. Why I pick so? So, same old, same old names. <laughs> and that's okay. Don't know how I'm going to, to handle the buttons overlay. Okay, now the bar is in there correctly. Oh, you can see that when it goes off screen, it no longer draws. So that's also good. We just have to make it move now. <laughs> Start. Have the layer screw positioning. Why? But before I continue, I have to fix the why it's not combining correctly the the height of the the little guy of this layer. That's been done in here. The checks. Layer heights, the layer overlay top. Which is the first image. Then it checks for the sample player. If I'm not mistaken, the default preset is the sample players, but maybe it's something else because I can't see right now what is my default preset, but it should be the sample player and a wave sequencer. Oh, it is. Oh. The Y position. What was the Y position that I don't remember? Let me check the file again because maybe I'm missing something. There's all the cache. Here, this guy. Very easy to see, but it should be the bottom. Buttons around thousand already, so 
Well, that's the wave sequencer to get. Oh, it is. Maybe it's not adding the bottom. Overlay top. Yes. Adding the. But, oh, yes, because the bottom. The bottom is for the master stuff, I forgot. So this is correct, this 800 is, is correct. Put this in there so I remember to do for the global master later on. So, okay. We have the positioning, which is the layer screw position. So check if the positioning is in range. It's complicated because I'm not calculated the start of the this guy here, I have the variable there, but I'm not using it. Oh, it's being, okay, it's being set as the screw height, but uh, that's not the way it's going to help me much. So let me check my layer again. Okay, so for first time it's going to be zero. Ah, okay, I see what I did. It is correct. So we have to check if it's between the height of the layer and the positioning Y. Then it should work correctly. Then we can do a partial sprite with the positioning. Take account the layer screw positioning. going to be zero visible but if it's on the bottom it's not going to be zero anymore go so with I need a variable I it's going to follow the layers so it's going to be Zero, the overlay, sky, the hard one. going to be very complicated. I do think I should be able to create another sprite and um, Going to get very complicated very fast. It's not impossible. Just...
just test this one out for now. Yeah, works. As I expect it. Not bad. Just a minute. to be winter here but it's 30 celsius today i don't know about fahrenheit but it's very hot so, so okay i can see that i can draw the partial partial sprite But another way to do this seems I'm, I'm doing this way. I could use the decal, which is going to be much faster. I can draw this after. I do, I do the background. And I can do Layering. Only thing I have to worry about is that um, I have to offset the layer background positioning. It's not not a big deal. There, done. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to think now since. I don't actually need this. No, I actually need this. That's why I'm. Never. I have. I need to draw this in the sprite because when I'm going to draw a knob, if the knob is too close to anything that uh, has a label or a box or anything like that, it has to draw that on the background before drawing it again. So. I need this in the sprite. That's why I was doing that. Sometimes I forget things. That's just just happens. I want two layers to be able to check for my second layer. Recall where, let me first list the layers. I can check number of layers, which should be just the number one, layer zero, the global layer, and layer number one. Okay. And I'm going to Force the code, create a new layer. Check how I do that because I don't remember exactly. So many dogs in the street here. It's a shame. Actual new layer, but how do I set the type? Oh, here. So easy. I'm going to call this my construction here. But this is going to happen just one time. So. 
Stage door, real new action, action layer, a very simple player. This time I should have two layers. Then I remove the cold. It starts, it's going to be two layers again. Number one and number two should appear now. Uh, it crashed. Hmm. Yeah, it's crashing hard. I can't do in this thread. Find another thread. Hold back. I should be able to do it. Honest. It is. Here, I have a place where I call the about image. Show it. Oh, you're on the global map. Or I'm already on the editor code. Dummy. It's too crashing. What the hell? Weird. Crash this time. If the you to the two layers that I added. Not saving my settings. Oh, it's not saving. It's a bummer. Check that. The another remove. Update interface. This, this is working. Not to worry about the other layers later on when I can load other presets and test out things. Um, okay, so this is the layer 
top. Let's go to the next one. Clear top and then the generator. How did they do it? Created a list. Sorry about that, my nose decided to not cooperate. Should have another variable here to help me out. Widgets. Generators. Why? Generators. Why? Be clear. Where is this definition? Oh. Come on. Just saw that just a minute ago. How can I forget this? No, 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 no. What is in there? That's very so such a hard time finding out. But uh, gah, I don't want to use. Okay, here we go. This should be the correct one. Two. Uh, okay. Let's go to that now. There's draw. Surely. Move. Using you for. Okay. Oh. There's one thing I need to check. Size here, not less than zero. It's higher than zero. As we don't draw that because it's just not going to appear anywhere. And now we're going to go to the Check the array of 
sound generators because you can have more than one. Add generators type generator. Oh boy, it's a lot of stuff. So now we're going to check um, generators type. To use an But the sprite is going to be all. But then I'm going to check in here which generator it is. Oh, I'm king. This guy is visible. Not even using this positional eye. It's using the school positioning. Thus, size of the guy. Okay, is a bit lower. Oh. There's a lot of typing involved. Play layer positionings and the type. Plus. And we also have to check if this is in range is showing the screen so i have to calculate that as well how do you calculate that i'm going to check this guy Higher than zero. Uh. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to do, but it's going to work. Great. Okay, just not moving correctly. Can fix that. Almost working. Let me think now. Positioning.
trying to figure out why it's not moving correctly. Positioning why it's correct for the first time as soon as start pulling gets the out of sync. All right. Top one moves correctly, the bottom one doesn't. Sync one. As we screw up, it's going to go up and up. Ah, my nose. Looks kinda okay. I think the problem's in here. Sorry, I'm bumping the microphone. We should not be layer screw positioning. Should be I have I'm going to take going to take a break because I'm starting to see dots in the screen. <laughs> okay, this works, but I wonder what happens when it goes off the screen. It's not going to crash or anything like that. This is have me worry about because it's jumping more than it should so it's very likely that math is not right like uh, it's not getting to the, to the this area here so it's totally messing up I don't think it's going to work. Try drawing the sprite with within the sprite again. Another way I could do it. to draw everything because it seems that it's it does accept to draw off screen uh, on my game everything goes from off screen and then appears in screen but uh, it doesn't have any problems with that so maybe maybe it's not really a problem let me let me try that see if it's not going to glitch or anything like that Draw sprite. Oh, 
by the top sprite first. It has to be part of sprite because I'm cutting a part of the of the whole thing. But uh, this time I'm going to use negative screw positioning. Let's see if it's going to accept that. Draws the whole thing. Always draws the whole thing. Okay. Let's see what's what's going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't crash. So the code of the pixel engine does allow that that's going to be much easier to code not as fast but at least it works now we have positioning you said the positioning plus the size of the top area and now I'm going to draw the generators. But right now it's just a sample player. I call generators because the engine I created years ago used that name. Because everything is based on, on the Vuzik 4000 code. And just the interface is different for each program. But the sound en engine is almost the same. On Vuzik Station I had to change a lot of stuff, but it's like... 20, 25% of the code that I changed, so it's not that much. Care if we can see or not the thing. Just draw it. Can just use the positional Y. Just starts adding to for now we don't care about the layer layer zero so it's okay so the type of the generator then the type of the generator and you don't put the screw positioning in that should work Let's see I'd like to test one by one I know it's a bit uh, slow, but this way I don't get confused with things because there's so much stuff in the code that sometimes I what what is what it's working one by one now correctly and now we add the bottom area So let's put some comments here. Top. Down. Raptors. Player bottom. So I think in the in the end I'm not going to be using the layer Y position. I will have to compute that in some way. Don't know where the layer ends. So if you are showing just layer two, I'll have to figure out something out. Could be. So the layer is not visible. I already added it here. The height of the. But this just only happens when 
the layer is not visible. So now the bottom layer top bo bottom and bottom. Okay, there we go. The menu is working. Transparent stuff is working as well. It's very, looks good. Oh, OBS is pitching out a bit. That's OBS, not the Michael. So, okay, it's it works. It should work for the other layers. Just hope this part is working correctly. So the screw position has to be for the height. I didn't put no Y. I think that should be correct. Now the only part that is getting is here. The layer screw position is higher than Layer screw height. I have to check that, but I'm going to be able to check that when, when I have two layers. Right now, I don't. But uh, well, I can actually back the code. So when I open the menu, I'm going to add a new layer. This is, at least it should add a new layer. There is a problem in here. The whole thing is disappearing again. Yeah, it just vanished. Oh, come on. I... Pretty sure is this this math is not correct. See if I can do that. Bring it's going to be very slow. It's not working. Can't I can't update the graphics unit anymore? It's 
Excuse me. Yeah, that's a big one. Ah, oh, no, not Reaper. This is fast. Oh, it's disappearing because I know, I know why. This is not going to work. Okay, I know. Um, now I have to fix this part in here because it's checking the height of layer. The layer bottom doesn't go in here actually. Layer bottom, not the layer bottom. It's the everything bottom. <laughs> so it's not correct to put in there. Global stair bottom. My nose is sorry. This part here, but uh, it's Let's see if it's working out because it has to draw all the layers first and it draws the master wall. Of course, you're not going to be able to do this when you have just one layer, because it fits perfectly, perfectly the screen. But uh, I'm just doing this just to check if all the positions are correct. And sorry for the screen to glitch out so much, but uh, OBS doesn't like OpenGL for some reason. Uh, OBS is my stream. Swing capture program. Oh. So, okay, let me check again how I'm calculating the whole size of the thing. I want to check when the screw position is over the possible position. But uh, for now, I'm not going to mess around with that. What I want to do now is check my, my performance. Check it is off screen, I guess. Here, right allows. Okay, my CPU is around ten percent and GPU around twenty two percent because I'm streaming capture on the video. If I move it, jumps a little bit because it has to calculate everything. But it's not so bad actually very 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 fast I move my mouse will go like a crazy guy too good then when I close it it frees up a bit of the memory the PU is still the same let me reopen again
Tipo, ok. It's actually good. Because this is not done in the graphics cards. I wish I could do that in a graphics card, but I don't know how to. So... Uh, anyway, I, it's like I said, I still need this as a background I can access for my other buttons. Then it's going to be a decal that I can use, then it's going to be faster. So scrolling is not going to be like every time. The most stuff you're going to do is tweak, tweak knobs and buttons and stuff like that. Now I have to create this the screw. How to call this? Screw bar? It's the screw bar. Pitch is out again. The menu is very good, working actually. That's some nice nice lettering. Outbox two. I'm using the mouse wheel for everything, but I have to. I need to create the option to scroll with the with the mouse on the right bar instead. So I'm going to take a short break because doing live videos just be more taxing on, on me, and then I'm going to start creating that part. Well, thanks for watching.